He damn near smoked you. We see you on twerk. It's your boy James. Trust the process. I want to just talk about protecting your peace and sometimes it's not easy to protect your peace. Sometimes we have to go through those hard times in order to appreciate the good times. Stop being dirty. It's your boy James with the Stop Being Dirty. Stop eating dirty. Trust the process. Protect your peace. Link in the bottom. Man, protect my peace. I was at the cabin all weekend. Yo, that disconnect is just, it, it's so needed in my life. And I feel like anyone, anyone, everyone should do it. Like, even if you don't have uh, um, a cabin or or or, or uh, friends that live far, just do something on your own. Just do something different. Go rent a city bike. Go, 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 go. Do anything that disconnects you from your day-to-day -day life where you could just be with you in a space, in an area, away from social media, away from your cell phone, away from the day-to-day's -day reality that brings us stress. Because I understand like, even in good situ, even in living in a great life, there's stresses. A hard life is obvious stresses. And sometimes you just need to take a step back from it. And that's what I get from uh, going to the cabin. Just being around nature is like mental therapy for me. And like, honestly, like when I get to a certain point out there, like my thoughts start going, Briz Rolstein! Oh my God. Like how many blogs? You know what? I'm making my meal prep over here. Yo, you know what? I'm gonna do this blog different with Briz. Because... <laughs> Enough is enough already. The whole, oh, is he coming back? Is he not? I'm going to do this blog as if Briz is actually coming back. I'm not going to do no, the, the whole, oh, he backed out these battles and sick of hearing them and, and, and this and being okie doked and how it's just an unhealthy relationship that Briz has with Battle Rap and the fans and the supporters of Battle Rap. I'm not going to go that route. Done that already. I'm good. We're going to say this. So, rumor has it Briz Rothstein will be returning to Battle Rap on RBE. So tweets are floating around. Um, things are being said, excuse me, by Briz, by the league. And things are being insinuated that they have a, you know, the, the little handshake emoji and, and basically work something out. That is what it looks like. For all we know, this is Cap. For all we know, this is not that. For all we know, they have a plan way down the line. For all we know, they just both like to laugh at battle rap and how you could just put out a tweet and have everybody talking about it you know what i'm saying i know a lot of people get off on shit like that to just put something out there and be like yo look how everybody goes crazy and talks about it i know people there's people who actually like shit like that so maybe that's all the case but we're gonna go with the case that no what it looks like is briz rostein will be returning to battle rap now two things i want to say number one within the same few days that briz said that he was coming back Hitman Holla and RBE were talking on Twitter and basically saying, yo, that Hitman Holla was on vacation spending a six-figure deposit, basically saying that Hitman Holla is booked on RBE again. And that's why I made the blog and many other people saying that he's the next main event. And we were thinking that it's going to be against Ill Will. So now you just mix in the fact that Briz is also going to be on RBE, what it looks like. So if we're going with this, uh, these assumptions, cause that's all it really is. It looks the way it looks, but sometimes things ain't the way they seem. So, we'll be like, yo, it's Hitman Holla versus Briz Rawstein. Now, I think that battle's dope. But to be honest with you, I think this battle is very, it's dangerous for both of them. I don't know what Hitman could really talk to about Briz outside of the obvious, right? Same thing with Briz. It's kind of like, they have no built up nothing. There's no backstory to this. Not that there has to be. They're both great entertainers and shit like that. Great performers. So that can make sense. All I'm saying is the black cloud over this battle and the elephant in the room is what's up with Murder Mook. That is the battle to see. Murder Mook and Briz Rothstein both need that battle. That is the battle we all want to see. That is the battle. Don't get me wrong. Briz comes back for his hitman. That'll be fire. We're all going to watch it and enjoy it. I want the murder move battle. I want that tension to just be done with. I wanted them to have that conversation. I want that to have, you know, because Briz said, yo, we couldn't work it out 
basically with Smack, so we're gonna do it on our own. Now, on our own does not mean RBE. Maybe it's some, you know, there's been, it's been a while, but there's always a league that pops up, puts a crazy card together that the league don't even exist. It's just they have a sponsor. Someone was just talking about battles that everybody wants to see. They put it together and it's trash every single time. Every single time something like that's happened. Snoop Dogg, uh, 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 Mr. Fab, no matter who it's been, it has been horrendously garbage. Even Total Slaughter wasn't even that good. It was backed by Eminem. The, the, the in the house shit was dope, but I mean that actual event and all these names put together don't be working out that well. Grill of Warfare events were pretty dope, but even those fell flat a lot of times. They're great matchups, but without it having that stamp of a King of the Dot, a Smack, an RBE, without that there, it kind of just it, it always ends up lackluster. Subscribe to the channel right now in the comments. Tell me do you agree or not? I've been in the game for a long time now as a fan, as an artist, and as a blogger. I've done it all. I've seen it, and I'm pretty sure what I'm saying is pretty freaking accurate. With that being said, Briz versus Murder Mook, I think that'd be dope. What, where's the Murder Mook battle at? I knew, I know for a fact Murder Mook couldn't do that battle before on RBE because he signed a contract, not like a, a crazy deal or for years. I'm talking about like a multiple battle contract, but I'm pretty sure that that, that contract is now up that he battled re dollars. He can go where he wants. At the time, after the two on two, and then they did the rematch two on two, Murder Mook was still in contract with URL. I know it for a fact. So that's why that battle maybe sort maybe didn't go down. I'm not sure if they tried to have it. I just know he wasn't going nowhere on the contract. Wasn't happening. But now he's probably free to do the battle. Now, that'll be a dope battle. The Hitman Holla battle. All this is dangerous for a lot of people. One, Murder Mook is coming off a horrendous battle versus Reed Dollars. It sucked. Two, Hitman Holla right now, in so many words, is overused, oversaturated. Even though him and Calico was super dope, him and Cassidy had an extreme amount of hype behind it. Right now, Hitman Holla is in a tough spot. I guarantee people, anyone in front of Briz is going to be hard right now, that first round especially. But Hitman Holla, we've been seeing him so often. And this is someone you never see often. So now you're kind of getting used to seeing him. The hype behind seeing him is not there. The only hype you can run with is if you really like this matchup, if you really like this battle, then you'll really enjoy it. Other than that, Hitman Holla just does not have no hype around him right now. It makes it tougher for him. Now, Briz. This is so dangerous for Briz, both battles. The hype, the, the, the expectations for Briz is ridiculous. Ridiculous! The pressure. You only can come back this one time with this hype around you unless you step back again for a long time after it. It's this is what it is right now. At the end of the day, he's in a great position to make an extreme amount of money. And he's the most talked about right now. Briz Rothstein is the hottest thing talked about in Battle Rap as far as a comeback, as far as who we want to see. There's no denying it. There's no denying it. Briz needs to run with this opportunity the best way he can. And that's one thing I could agree why Briz is like, you know, trying to get the most money and trying to make the best out of the situation. Because he might not ever get this chance again. Ever. This amount of a chance. I mean, respectfully, respectfully, this guy's coming off of a two-on-two -two that didn't get past the first round. Prior to that, he come, he's coming off of, you know, a, a clearly winning against Mr. Wavy, which he did really great in. And it's not to shit on Mr. Wavy. I'm just saying, look at the names he, he's in. He didn't battle Mike P and ended up battle Mr. Wavy and then just jumps to a murder mook battle. You understand? Let's take our minds back to what the position Briz was actually in. He wasn't in a top tier position. He was getting big battles. He has big battles. But I'm just saying, a two on two that ended in one round, a three round small room versus Mr. Wavy. Outside of that, he's supposed to battle Mike P. Before that, a one round versus Loso. Before that, a calico battle that sucked. Do you know what I'm saying? This is an opportunity that Briz has got. This is what I've been saying. This is where my anger, this is where my, my um, aggression, this is where my, my energy comes from when I blog on Briz. That does he realize? How big this is for him. That he can turn a, po a negative into a positive. You got punched in your face. And you are, that punch has catapulted you up into the biggest battle of your career. The biggest 
check of your career, the biggest hype of your career. And that's where I was so adamant when I'm speaking about Briz. Does he realize this? Because I always thought like he's worried about the bars, what people think and things like that. Maybe this is not the case. I don't know. I just know I lived a life before and I've seen people around me, to people to this day. Before I changed even being who I am, I, I've once done it once or twice or three times where I felt insecure about situations. I overthrew what people thought. I, I was too much in my mind worrying about what the next man thought instead of living my own life. I was worried about the judgment of others, of strangers. So I'm worried about did Briz, is Briz go? Because Briz, I went through, it ain't that bad. I went through multiple, it ain't who? We back out here. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I always wanted to make sure he he was not coming back. He was not not coming back because he was worried about any of that shit. Because now look at it. He has the opportunity of a lifetime right now. Him and the MOOC, I think it has an ill history. That's the battle to see. I want the f first person to talk to Briz B. MOOC. I think that'll be fire after everything that happened. But if it's Hitman, that's a great battle for Briz. I mean, it's the biggest battle of his career. And Hitman right now, though he's coming off of two good performances, the hype around him is not there. That first round hit. Yo, just, oh man, just imagine Briz versus Hitman. The first, Hitman is known for his first rounds. And then this is the first round you're going to see from Briz in years. That first round alone from both of them can be go down in history. It really can. You're talking about a dude who's known for his first, first rounds and a guy who haven't spit a first round in two years plus. So that battle, I like it if it does happen. I definitely do want to see the murder Mook battle. If I had to choose, I would like Briz and Mook. But if I get Hitman and Briz, that's super fire. But if we get nothing from the Briz shit and, and RBE ends up coming out like, yeah, we had something with Briz and I don't know what happened, then we know the okie doke is just there and Briz is just not, he's just toying with battle rap. I don't know if that's the case. I hope it's not the case. I don't know nothing. I'm just viewing it and talking about it from a pr one man's perspective. And that's all it is. But what do y'all think? Subscribe to the channel. Trust the process. Protect your peace. Stab me in It's funny. I had a whole blog 11 minutes, but I feel like I'm almost ending it abruptly. Do you get that feeling too? I don't know. I got to go. It is 10, 10 at night. I got the gym at 515. Tomorrow is chest and triceps. 30 minute cardio on the treadmill. Got my meal prep ready. Go out and get it. You make time for what you choose to make time for. No excuses. If you want it, there's a whole world out here. Go get it. Stop being dirty.